In this section, we'll look at some very simple examples of rearranging or solving for a variable. They will all use a single operation. For example, let's take the equation x plus 7 is equal to 15. We want to isolate for the x on the left, and so we need to do something with the plus 7. So we will do the opposite operation. It's a plus 7, so we will have to take a minus 7 on both sides. So x plus 7 minus 7 on the left, but then we have to balance it on the right with another minus 7. And now on the left, the plus 7 and the minus 7 will cancel out to give 0. And on the right, we just need to simplify. 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. Throughout this slideshow, we will show the opposite operation occurring on both sides. However, when someone is doing this in class or on the board, it's common not to write out the full step. And for example, just to show the immediate effect, they'll jump from the first step, x plus 7 equals 15, to the third step, x is equal to 15 minus 7. They'll move the positive 7 over to the other side, and they'll change the positive sign to a negative sign. A second example, x minus 5 is equal to 16. Again, we want to isolate for the x on the left-hand side, and so we need to move the minus 5 over. So that means we're going to add 5 on the left to get rid of the minus 5, but then to maintain balance, we have to add 5 onto the left-hand side as well. That cancels out the 5s on the left-hand side, and so we just have to evaluate the 16 plus 5 on the right. In this case, x is equal to 21. In this next example, we have 12 minus x is equal to 5. There's two ways we're going to look at doing this one. The first way is to move the x over to the other side, because right now we're dealing with a negative x. And when we solve an equation for that variable, we do need the x to be positive overall. So what we're going to do is add x to both sides. Adding x on the left will cancel out the x's there, and then adding an x on the right-hand side will give us the positive quantity that we want. Now we have 12 is equal to 5 plus x, and the plus 5 is now what we need to get rid of. So we're going to subtract 5 onto the right-hand side, and then we also have to do it on the left in order to maintain that balance. So now the 5s on the right will cancel out, and you just have to evaluate minus 5 plus 12, which is equal to positive 7, and that's your x. The second way we can do this is to get rid of the 12 on the left-hand side and work with the negative x, and we'll cancel out the negative sign at the end. So we'll subtract 12 on both sides to get rid of the 12 on the left and move it to the right, and then we'll have that negative x is equal to negative 7. And at this point, we basically need to drop the negative signs because both quantities on the left and the right are negative. Technically, what we'll do here is either multiply both sides by a negative one or divide both sides by a negative one. When we do this, we get x is equal to 7, and it's the exact same solution. Here the operator is multiplication. 3x is equal to 15. So to get rid of the multiplication by 3, we have to divide by 3 in order to undo that. So we always do the opposite operation. But if we divide by 3 on the left-hand side, we always have to divide by 3 on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, 3 divided by 3 will give you 1. And on the right-hand side, 15 divided by 3 will cancel out, and you'll get 5. Here, with a division operator, x divided by 2 is equal to 3. The opposite operation for division is multiplication. So we're going to multiply the left-hand side by 2. But then we also have to multiply the right-hand side by 2, because we always have to keep that balance. So on the left-hand side, the 2 divided by 2 will give 1. And on the right-hand side, we simplify 3 times 2 to be 6. A different case is when you're dividing by the variable that you want, in which case you need to get that x back into the numerator. So just like when we had a negative x on the left-hand side, one of the ways to do that was to move it over to the right-hand side so it became positive. We're going to do a similar idea here, except using multiplication. We're going to multiply both sides by x so that the x's on the left cancel, and then we have a positive x quantity in the numerator on the right-hand side. So this would simplify to 4 is equal to 2x. And now it's the multiplication by 2 we want to get rid of, so now we divide by 2 on the right-hand side and automatically divide it by 2 on the left-hand side as well. Simplifying on the right, you'll get 1 to go along with the x, and then on the left, you'll get 4 divided by 2 is 2.